Hey everybody, it's going to be a quick tutorial on how to add a save system into the multiplayer zombie survival template. So where you can save your weapon loadout. So let's say you're playing and you got like two different guns and you save the game and close it and then you come back in a day or two and you want to play again. You can load those same weapons and their ammo values and have the same weapons that you previously had in the previous session. So let's hop right into it. Uh, first thing we want to do is actually make a um, save file to save these uh, values. So I'm going to go to HGT, core, blueprints, all levels. And this is where I just have all of the save stuff and things already. And I've already made one called save weapons. But what you do is you right click, you click on blueprint class, and then down here in the search bar you just type in save game and you click that. And once you click it, it will pop up down here and you can just name it whatever you want. I named mine save weapons. You open it up and you just need three different variables here. So if you come over to the left hand side, click on variable, uh, make one variable called weapons you have and it's of type name and then you click this little button over here to make it a array. Click the, uh, by default it'll be a single variable. Click this little square here, a grid, and then make it an array. And then you make another variable, call it weapon ammo stock, and it is of type integer, and it's an array as well. And weapon ammo clip, it's an integer, and same thing, it's an array. All right, so once you have those variables, these uh, this save file is pretty much done. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to go to HGT, characters, base character, and open up the third person character here, and Let's see, the first thing we want to do is go to the function. There's a function in here called uh, Setup Starting Weapons. You can search for it, Setup Starting Weapons, and it's right here. Open this function up. It'll open up this, and by default, it doesn't have the yellow part. It will just come, it'll just have this part here and this part down here. Basically, what we want to do is off of this uh, faults pin, I think by default, it looks like that. Well, we want to uh, add this part in yellow over here, which basically just says, uh, does the save game exist? So you use this node, does save game exist, give it a slot name. I just called it save weapons. And then off of that, we do a branch. If true, then we want to load game from slot, and you use the same slot name of save weapons. You drag off of it and cast it to save weapons, which is this file over here that we just created. Um, so you cast to that. If you named yours something else, then it'll you'll cast to whatever you named it. But I named mine save weapons, so we're casting to save weapons. Um, you drag off of it and you get that weapons you have variable, and then you just set the uh, starting weapons variable. And that variable is over here. If you just type in starting weapons, you can click it, drag it in, and just hit set and it'll appear like this and you just connect it up so that will take your saved weapons from the save file and set it to the starting weapons here and then you just connect this straight into the for each loop this this part here has already been created You're, you will only have to make the nodes that are in yellow here and then down over here off of the faults you just want to make sure you connect the faults directly into this for each loop and what that means is if you come in here and it says does a save game exist and you know, and there's no save file because you've never saved before or it's your first time playing or whatever then you just come right in here and it will just give you the default starting weapons if you click on starting weapons here you can see over here on the right hand side the default values these are the weapons that you're going to receive when you start the game by default so by default I have laser gun and a starting rifle so that's what um the guns that you're going to receive and if you're, in case you want to know what order that you're going to receive them it starts at zero and goes down so if you had like 20 guns here I only have two here but it'll give you the laser gun first and then it'll give you the starting rifle so that means you're gonna um, when you start the game you're gonna be holding the starting rifle because it's gonna give you from the top down so if you had these uh, flipped, say you had starting rifle right here on the top for the zero slot, and then you had laser gun right here on one, and you started the game, then you're going to be holding the laser gun in your hand because it's the last weapon that you received. So I hope that makes sense. 
But uh, basically we do that, and then the next thing we want to do is um, go into the event graph. And if you go all the way down to like the bottom right down here where it's in pink and it says give player weapon for free, use for giving starting weapons. There's an event here called give owning player weapon. Um, at the end of it, right after the server set weapon slot, is where we're going to add in the uh, new stuff here. So we got a note called does save game exist. Uh, use that same slot called save weapons. Do a branch. Basically the same thing we just did, just about. Um, if true, load game from slot. Save weapons is the uh, slot name. Make sure you put that in there. Cast to save weapons. And then this is where you're going to pull the weapon ammo stock values and the weapon ammo clip values. And then you just set, make sure you set stock to the uh, current weapon ammo stock. And you can type these over here. Just cost type in ammo stock. And there's current weapon ammo stock. You would drag it in and set it. Same with the uh, ammo clip. You just type in clip, ammo clip, drag it in, hit set. And so you set both of these to what these values are from the save file. And then you're good. And I put a print screen or a print string just so I can see it, that it loaded. This basically just takes, uh, after you've received your guns over here, you uh, it sets the saved ammo values. So if you only had two bullets in your clip and you save the game and then you come back tomorrow and you, it will load those two bullets in your clip and set it right here so you still only have two bullets. Alright and that's it for that. Now we just have to have a way to actually save the game. So I just did a quick little uh, input event here. I mean you can just right click and type in something like 6 and keyboard event 6 or whatever you want and then you can change it to to anything you want from a keyboard, gamepad, whatever. This is the quick way of doing it. The right way that if you're going to put this officially in your game, would you go to like editor, no not editor, uh, project settings, edit, project settings, and you'd come down into the input, wherever that is, and you would add it either into the action mappings if you're using action mappings, or now Unreal Engine 5 has new uh, enhanced input, you would add that um, some kind of uh, button for that in the in there. So like in this one, see we have one for jump, and then you have the space bars. You would just click this little add action mapping, and you could call it something like uh, force save game, and then you just bind it to something like the six key or whatever you want, whatever key you want. There you go. And then when you go back into the game, you would just type in force, save game, and there's your input event, and then you would just plug that in. Like I said, you you can, um, either way works. This is the appropriate way, but for testing, I just used a six. So, um, yep, that will uh, do that. Now let me show you how you actually save the game. You Off of the press, you want to create a save game object, and you want to make sure you pick that um, save weapon uh, file save weapons which is the one that we created right here with the values in it you want to make sure you pick that one you want to drag off of it and you want to set the um, weapons you have this is um, you're dragging off of this and you type in weapons you have and you want to set this one set weapons you have then you want to come over here and you want to type in weapon inventory names and that's what you're going to set it to so you would drag this off and get it like this and then you would plug it directly in and you do the same with this one you would drag off of this type in weapon ammo clip and then you want to take over here your uh, ammo clip and you would plug current, um, current weapon ammo clip directly into there and you do the same with ammo stock drag off the blue Set the weapon ammo stock to over here, ammo stock. And yeah, then you just drag it, plug it right in like that. And then right here at the end, you want to drag off of this uh, create save game object and you type in save game to slot. And then this note appears and you want to make sure the slot name is save weapons, just like it was on all the other notes that we use. And then I put a print string just to show me that I actually saved. And this will force save the game. So basically what this is doing is it's creating a save file on your hard drive. 
and then it's um, taking your current weapons, your current weapon ammo and stock ammo and clip ammo and it's saving them all to a file on your actual computer. And if you want to know where that's at, I can show you. So if you just right click on like anything like this third person character or something, you can show and explore. And inside a, an explorer, if you go to um, your project here, there is a saved folder like where the uh, U project is, you go to saved and then uh, save games and this is where it saves the actual uh, save files. So this would be the save weapons dot SAV. This is the save file for the weapons. So uh, if you ever wanted to delete it, say you just didn't want it anymore or it was bugged out or something, maybe you're testing things, whatever, you can just come in here and, and delete it and yes and then when you go into the game that you will uh, you spawn in and all you'll have is the two guns and let's see let's say I want to get the auto shotgun and a grenade so I got a grenade launcher I got an auto shotgun I'm gonna shoot some bullets so this has 980 in the clip and this one I'll see Two, one bullet in the clip. One bullet in the clip. And one forty-seven. And I hit six on my keyboard. Boop, and it says force save complete. And I close the game, and then I boot it back up. And I have the grenade launcher still with one bullet in the clip, one hundred forty-seven reserve, and auto shotgun with nine hundred eighty bullets in the clip. So it saved it and it loaded it and I can do that. You can do it with whatever guns you want. I can grab this LMG like this. I can hit six to save, close the game, open it back up, LMG, and grenade launcher. So that's how you do it. Nice little easy way of uh, saving and loading. And if you go back into the file over here, you can see that here's your save weapon file that it generated. And if you ever wanted, if you needed to delete it, like if I delete this again, and then I go back in the game, I'm back to my default weapons. No more LMG. All right, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple little system. Just knowing where to plug things in, and uh, based on wherever you want to save, like you can save the game wherever you want. I just bound it to the six key for now. So I hope that helps. Maybe that will get everybody on the right track and get them a good uh, foundation groundwork for uh, saving and loading. And you can do this with anything. It doesn't have to be weapons. You can save all kinds of stuff. So thanks for watching. I um, hope that helps. And yeah, see you around.